Hello, Chill Computer Guy. Today we're in Bitwig Studio. I discovered a new plugin over the weekend, and I absolutely love this thing. It's actually on sale right now. It's from Wave Factory, and it's called the Track Spacer. And this is basically kind of another form of side chaining, but it's using kind of a dynamic reverse EQ concept. And the thing I love about this this plugin is it has a high and low pass filter on it, and then it has an intensity knob. It's very very straightforward. Um, and the thing that I love about it, in particular with Bitwig Studio, is it works better than any other DAW for this particular plugin. Now, if you're using this in Ableton or some other DAW, what you got to do is you got to take whatever you're trying to sidechain your source, if you will, and you got to create like a ghost channel. You got to duplicate that track, and then you got to route it into the uh, track spacer. But uh, in Bitwig Studio, you don't have to do that. It's actually uh, uh, makes use of the uh, sidechain uh, drop-down menu. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing real quick. Here it is, the track spacer here. And you can see I have two of them set up. I basically have uh, three tracks. I have my kick kick drum, which is the 4-4 kick. It's a little uh, little turnaround after, uh, after four bars. That's my 4-4 kick, and that's basically my source. Um, that's, that's what I'm using to sidechain the blue track which is my bass which is basically a side trance slowed down we're in double time here at 242 so we just have a real basic side trance bass line here and then we have a, a simple little chord here uh, coming through this pad here now the thing that makes this great particularly in Bitwig Studio is that you can actually route this using the drop down here so as you can see here's the track spacer here but in uh, Bitwig Studio, you have the luxury of this drop down. So you can actually route this right from within the plugin, which is really handy. That way, you don't have to create a ghost channel. You don't have to create a separate track and route it into the track spacer. As you can hear, we're in demo mode, so it's going to tell us about track spacer here. I haven't committed to buy this thing yet. It is on sale right now, and I'm probably going to get it because. It's a really different kind of look on side chain, and you can use it on every channel. It's real low uh, CPU here. Um, but yeah, with Bitwig Studio, you can actually use this drop down right here. And then you can select your, your source of your side chain. In this uh, case, it's going to be my uh, MH tonal kick in the key of F. Of course, you can go post or pre, or you can route this within your chain. So you can route this thing real, real specifically to whatever part of the chain or the channel you want to do. Um, but in this case, I'm just routing it to my uh, to my kick drum, pre-kick drum there. You see it's there. And now if we go back to the plugin, we're going to go ahead and play this right now. We're going to just solo the kick drum here. You know, and you can see there's our kick drum right there. It's uh, routed here. On the left is the bass. On the right is the, uh, is the Dreamliner, which is the pad here. Let's go ahead and bring the bass in. So as you can hear, we can really, really fine tune that side chain signal. Um, basically 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, two separate bands. So I guess the right would be the high pass and the left would be the low pass, but you can use them in either way. Um, 
but having this level of control with these three knobs and then we also have this screen here so we can actually put this in the uh, mid side mode LR we can pan this so it only affects one channel or the other and then we, of course we can set the attack and ratio here so we have even finer controls and then we, of course we can hear the side chain signal right here So I mean it's pretty immense the amount of control you do have over the side chain signal with this and again it's not really using compression it's using basically kind of a dynamic EQ reverse you know so you know where, where the where the frequency is pumping in one area it's decreasing in the other area so you can actually put this on every track of your mix and just use this to really calm certain frequencies that are getting all cluttered I mean it's it's absolutely necessary this is an absolute gem for the low end you know if you're having your kick drum and your bass constantly conflicting this is the plug-in for you and this thing's on sale right now I'm gonna leave a link in the description below but uh, like I say this is in demo mode but I'm probably for sure gonna gonna invest in this plug-in. It's super reasonably priced. I think it's on sale for 39 bucks. So this is an absolute must-have. It actually works better in Bitwig Studio than any other DAW that I have found because I was using this in Ableton and I had to take my kick drum track and I had to duplicate it and then I had to route it into the, the track shaper and it was just kind of a you know, I had to create an extra track, you know. But with Bitwig Studio, you can see there's the track spacer right there. You can have your drop down right there. You can actually route it right there, you know. It's very similar to the um, to the Expert Records plugin uh, uh, Cthulhu. Cthulhu works better in Bitwig Studio than any other DAW. It just, you put it, you know, you put it in as a note effect at the very beginning of the chain and it plays your chords and it plays your arpeggiators. Um, or demo track spacer demo well I don't know if it's gonna be a demo much longer because I'm probably gonna gonna invest in this um, because I really really uh, dig this this is probably one of the more useful plugins I've ever seen um, and again it's just the three controls it's just your intensity your high pass and your low pass and then of course you can go into uh, more detail with your attack your decay uh, mid side uh, you can pan it and you can listen to your side chain signal so very straightforward very nice uh, absolutely love this plugin so I'm giving it two thumbs up anyway chill computer guys sorry I haven't been up on here very often I've been super super busy with work and other endeavors uh, but I am gonna make more uh, bitwig exclusive or possibly propeller head reason tutorials so if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up uh, tell a friend about the channel give me a thumbs up let me know what you want to see in the comments below and uh, yeah stay tuned we'll have more uh, bitwig tutorials coming up